<laughs> Ooh, you sneaking up on me again, boy. Come here, take a look at this. We're at the famous collar mine. And if you don't know where that's at, you need to go back to school, son. Now, get over here. Who do I got over here? Andre Dejernet. And? Bill Finley. I'm the operator of the mine, and Bill here is the, the chief guide here in the mine. All right, and you're open how many days a week? At this point, it's seven days a week. Sometimes we close on Wednesdays. We'll run to about mid-November. It's been a tough year. We opened a little late this year. Okay. But we're, we're gonna try earlier next spring as long as the big winter time don't hit us. Do you have any kind of a website or email? Yeah. We have their website of uh, thecollarmindtours.com. Okay. And that's how you find us. You find us right here in Virginia City next to the BNT Rail. Oh, fantastic. It's right down the road from the Ward Schoolhouse. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that right? At the foot of the combination shaft. Oh, the combination shaft. 3,300 feet. 1859, they discovered the uh, collar mine claim right here. The tunnel drift was driven in 1861 and uh, it was bought in later by William Sharon, the agent of the Bank of California. It was added to the Potosi, became the fifth largest producer, 17 million of old money, 870 million of new money, 42% gold, 57% silver, 1% lead, copper, and zinc. Fantastic. Now, when did you acquire this place? Acquired in 17. Okay, 2017. 17. You did a great job cleaning this place yeah. up. It looks great. It's been rolling along since 1963. The mine has been open for tours daily. Wow. That's... Seasonal. Summer Holy cow. And yeah. it's all original. And it's still squeezing in there, still ain't it? Still squeezing inside. The pressures of the company. Wow. Well, let's go. Hey, you guys want to go in there and take a look? I know you do because I can feel it in your bones. Let's go inside and take a look. Let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, but you forgot what I was going to say. So come on. Let's go. Give you the disco look. Heck yeah. Or the Christmas look. Or the Christmas look. Hey, he's diving out. Now, this is original right That's here, right? Old blower motor. That's right. Wow. Old blower. And did you find that in the mine, or was that up on the hill? It's it's been right here in the mine. The other one's still laying on the hill behind us. How's the rib holding up in here? You're lagging. It's holding pretty good. It's getting tired, but it's still good. All right, go. Well, now, what's so special about this area? All right, this is where the original shaft came in when they built, when they started the the mine here in 1859. It came out to here, and then later on, they built this shaft out here to go and access oh. get the, the ore out of here. It, since then, this is caved in, and yeah, instead it, of digging it back out, they covered it up. It, it, yeah, it looks pretty bad. Look at that. The lagging is. Yeah. <laughs> it looked like it's seen better days. Holy cow. Yeah, this was the original where the original came out. Wow. All right, well, let's head back into the back room real quick. Well, it's caved in now. It only goes back about, you know, 12 feet there. That's oh. where it caved in right there. Oh, but it yeah. went back another 250 feet from there oh, that's, out to the pit. That's new. I remember when we came back here years ago, that was open. Okay. When did it cave? I'm not sure exactly what year it caved in. Uh, gosh, I remember it was years ago, and it went back straight and then to the right. Okay. And it was looking really sketchy. Yeah. And well, uh, they tried digging it out, and it caved in on them, and so they, that's where that's they, they finished it. Wow. Yeah. I like the way you did the lighting in here. This is really nice. Yeah. And they got the old tugger in here, and the widow makers, yep. column drills. And there's a jack leg right there. Look at that. You got the rat tails hanging out of there, out of the yeah. face. Oh, this is new. You got some four by sixes in here. Yep. <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every year this timber gets a little lower. <laughs> wow, this is nice. I'm so glad you guys are keeping it alive. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, this is the only mine left in the calm stock that you can still tour exactly yeah i can see why look at that yeah. lagging yeah it's we're rotten. gonna go and, yeah we're gonna go and fix that here as soon as we close up right we got a few places we can need to go and work yeah you're doing great i can see where you got your four by sixes in here yeah holding this all up yeah we use tons of these in the drift got them from home depot yep wow and you still got some of the original ore right here yep that's the Comstock load right there. Look at that. 
and it's so soft. Can you imagine it's working real in brittle. this? Very brittle. Look at that. It's like a blue robin's egg color at yeah. one time. Yep. Look at that. I bet you there's still values in there too. Well, that gray is, is the silver itself. Yeah. And you know, it's it's not high grade, which is why they left it. Right. That's what I kind of figured why it yeah. would still be here. Yeah. But I'm glad they did leave it. So yeah. Because so this is the only thing left. It. Yep. It's the only thing left. Look at that. Now, is there a high sulfide count in there? Yeah. That's what I figured. I can almost smell it and you can see it where it's starting to leach out. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And of course, they had a telephone. Ah, I'm rat in here too. I like that call out for powder. You know why we had the rats in here? They could feel the. Oh, the, um, that's right, because they would know when the earth the shifting and they would and run fire, out. And so they could tell it before we could. So when they started running out, that was an early warning signal for us to get out of here. Right. Wow. And then this is the stuff you see in the mine dumps outside. Yeah. All this waste rock. This is nasty, soft. Almost looks like kaolinite. Oh, it's just terrible stuff to cut into because there's nothing to hold it up. It won't hold itself up, that's for sure. Yeah. That's why you gotta have these big old eight by eight timbers. Ooh. And then you got yourself a little winds over here. Got the winds. I don't think I it think goes, oh, there's water in there. A little bit. Look at that. Wow. I went, when I take people through this, I show them the vein that people were, that they were following back right here. Right. You know, that's what was carrying the gold. And, you know, wherever that went is where they went. Exactly. And that went down at one time that went down 200 feet. Right. Yeah. You can see where it goes down and then it's off to an angle. Yep. And, um, you know, we had to have a way to go and get that ore out of there. So we used the, we got an ore bucket right here. Yeah. Yeah, look at that bunker. Yeah. yeah. He's in the dump position. Have your ore cart here, and then you'd have some kind of apron here to, to feed it into that cart. And we got the bell right here for our yeah. communication. We got a, we got the uh, uh oh the bell signal. The chart. bell signal. Yeah. Wow, and you got some of the stopers in here. Yep. Ooh, I wouldn't want to work a stoper for nothing. Get a face full of muck. This is really cool. I, I'm amazed how much smaller it keeps getting every year. <laughs> You'll be needing timbers everywhere. Yeah. It feels good down here, though. All right, this is temperature year-round in here within about 5 degrees. Right. You know, it just depends on what the temperature is outside as to what it's blowing in here. Right. Oh, I tell that. people, you know, a lot of people are scared to come in here. Right. I'm, I'm scared to go back out. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> No, me, I feel right at home down here. Yeah. Well, something I want to do is I want to get a chalkboard down here because when I do my tours, I show them how they use these jack legs and working the hard rock. Right. So how they blew it. And Oh, yeah, firing around. Yeah. And, you know, that it makes a lot more sense when you draw it out. For Bingo. Them. Because right now they just see a bunch of holes and they, and don't, they don't understand know what it means. It. So you can show them how to, you can get a uh, cut your burn. Yep. Uh, like a three hole or a five hole burn and then your your uh, blast pattern depending on the type of rock you're playing with yep. and the size of the drift yep. yeah and then they would see it and so go I, oh I it makes sense right now i just draw it in the, in the dirt oh well it's easier yeah. on a piece of paper yeah. yeah it's too bad you didn't have the jack leg hooked up then you could show them how loud it is down oh, here. oh yeah yeah oh man those things will ugh. Yeah, well, you've been through the uh, consolidator yeah. down there in, in Dahlonega, right? Because they do run one there. Yeah, and they'll turn that thing on. And, man, yeah, if you're not wearing earplugs, that's you won't hear for a week. Yep. Ooh, that was a lot of fun. Did you enjoy that? You better, because I got a big bump on my head just for you. <laughs> that pack is low. All right, well, we got other places to see. But before I go, I'm going to ask you guys, you got anything you want to say to anybody out there? I wish you all come to see us, and we hope you do. And uh, take one of Bill's tours and visit the rest of the Comstock load. That's where it all started here. Exactly. And I'll leave links down below so you can click on them to get to his site and you can see everything and you can get up here and you don't have to make reservations. You can just drive in and show up and then take the tour. And they got a cool museum in there too. Stuff you ain't gonna see in there. This is the only mine that's still open on the Comstock load. Everything else has been sealed up. So anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here. But before I do, you know what I'm gonna say, don't you? So come on. Let's go! go.